Yes. And yard. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Six seven. Two hundred and thirty pounds in the bundle of excitement. Serving more shakes than McDonald's. Over one billion served. <laughs> I got to shout out all the legendary coaches from the third world. We got to start with Lou's father, Frog, the coach BC, my mentor, and then I got the, then I took over the room. Mm. Run up. He on top of <laughs> Yeah, we started with the third world incorporated oh, to the whole top hustlers. Definitely the, the Big League though, the Big League was where everybody, that's a benchmark. Right. Everybody that played in high school, pop horn, anything you played in, you wanted to play the Baker League. Baker League games, after the college games and the high school games, that's the best of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the pearls we see on TV was right in front of you. You didn't bring your game, you got embarrassed up there. Right. 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 the games yeah. free? Yeah, I don't yeah, 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 yeah. The I Baker games are free. When I was all star yeah. game, New York, Philadelphia, oh, all star game, you got to be a Nothing like it. I mean, somebody like, and I played ball all my life. I couldn't wait to graduate college. They play, they play <laughs> the Baker League. Mm -hmm. They play right. the Baker League. That yeah. was it, man. That's what the was. He was on um, the Baker League. They started the Bud Wilder one on one. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the best games was when it was Billy Ray D Dunk Bates. The first year he came from Portland against Gale and Baker. Mm. Gale and legendary. Wow. Legendary. I think it was ten to nine or ten to ten. They but both don't remember like three, all this stuff, times. man. I mean everything, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 I got a photograph yeah. memory, but I was there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But, right. but we gotta talk about my man Magic over there. Look hey. because he was the one that we started in high school at Overbrook. Then we did the uh third world thing. Then we went to the Sunny Hill College League. And Lou was always playing with North Philly. The trader. <laughs> he was in North Philly. <laughs> and in Sunny Hill High School. He was, he was in North Philly. But the College League. And then he, he stepped up to the Baker League. Lou turned and was, out. And was lighting the Baker League. The reason why he played for North Philly was because Mr. Black. Bobby yeah. Black. Yeah. Mr. Black Bobby coached Black. the North Philly Bobby team. Black. He dropped 54 back to back nights with Charles Barkley. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He let Charles Barkley yeah. out that night for 54. Back back. And they came back the next night and got 54. Mm -hmm. For everybody. Yeah. Like you're telling everybody, it was the most explosive thing in this was in this city. Nobody's done We don't even want to talk about the 50 score because you know what I mean. My last game we played, I played, I was playing for Claude and uh, Bobby Vanderhoof. We was playing for Ducky Dash Reed and they had me, Carrington, and Milk Coach. And we started off from here, Ali Johnson. And JB lit his ass up for 55. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at halftime, we in the locker room, Claude, they, they reading the stats. Ali told me, damn, my bad, man. Shooting six for 22. If I just made some of my shots, we'd be up. I said, yeah, well, what the fuck did that tell you? I'll pass the ball. I said, man, I'm, passing. I'm running point. You ain't got to pass it no more. Get it the fuck off the glass. <laughs> 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 I think when you talk about Lewis Lloyd, when you mention yeah. black magic, you know, it raises eyebrows. Because here you're talking about a guy that was one of the most prolific scorers. In my opinion, in the, in the world, you know what I mean? This guy could just do it all, and, and, and I had the opportunity. We were raised together, it was my brother. And he was the guy that was responsible for influencing me into sports, him and my older brother. But man, this guy, could he can play anything. <laughs> he had world-class speed, you know what I mean? He can run with, with, with the track stars, the best of them. Right. And man, the guy just had blinding speed, and, man. And, and he play baseball. But keep in mind, He can do it all. Yeah, he played, he started yeah, out over there at the Capitol Memorial Street High. Church, the church league. Oh, the there. church league. Yeah, yeah, that was Jenkins. the first job. We had playing on concrete. Was you in the 76ers? Clay. That's what I was Clay. 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 Yeah, 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 that was yes. the 76ers. What year was that, man, Lou? 1970. I'm like 75, 74, around there. Yeah. Earlier than that. You know, Earlier than that. 74. Early 73. 74. Oh, yeah. 73. Right. Yo, it was some high scores over there, boy. Oh, my goodness. Camp Memorial Church, right there at 56 in Wallusen. I seen him play as a young lad. No. 
and he used to could get the ball up there on the rim, and I couldn't reach it. <laughs> I was trying my best, and he hit me off the window, off the glass. You know what I mean? It was just unbelievable. So, damn, how's this young guy doing this? It speaks to a higher power when a guy comes out of the womb <laughs> and oh just God. so athletically start. gifted. You know, anybody can work and develop some skill, but when you come out the womb <laughs> and you can do it all, I'm just saying. <laughs> because I know that with regards to my skill set and the way it was developed, I had to work extremely hard. This guy could just come out, he'd come out the crib and get 50. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I'm telling you, uh, yeah. 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 but what they what they fail to realize more than anything else, he ain't rushing. He taking his time. You see him walk on the court. Lou taking his time getting on the court. He come up the court, and when he take that first step, mm. you in trouble. Cause then he going to the ceiling, and he gonna hammer it on your head. He he didn't fear anybody on the floor, and he can put up numbers. And, and his sidekick over there, see now. Laughing. Yeah. 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 Me, I'm 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 from up on the hill. I'm from the hilltop. Mm. So uh, Lou and Nine were down from Dry Avenue. So I I get to play. I'm getting 35, 40 night up, up on the hill with anybody. So I get down there. I meet Lou and Nine. I don't gotta shoot no more. <laughs> I'm getting 20, 20, I'm getting 20, 25 assists every game. I'm getting, I'm getting one down, he's done, he's done. I'm like, oh my God, the game's too easy. Yes, Two of the greatest yes. players that ever played, Lou and Nine, man, they set records, man. We was had one game, win by, go up by 25, beat that game, ride our bike to another game, we down 20, <laughs> went down by 20, and go to the last game by Pasco <laughs> and win that by 25. But see, C9 couldn't really play. But, but Lewis, Lewis so good, he really couldn't play, but he wasn't going to let Lou outdo him. So whatever Lou did, C9 would copy, but he really didn't have no game. But at the end of the game, the guy would have 40 points, 20 rebounds. I said, man, he's garbage. But the whole deal was, he had somebody, the, the, the booking forward that he had playing with him, he would just do what Lou did. Yeah. Did. And, and it just elevated his game. Yes. I'm gonna oh, tell, no, let, no, let me no. tell y'all yeah, one story. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. tell y'all one story. We, um, <laughs> me and this guy named Terry Rice, we went, we went to Drake together. Um, we ran the drive one day. Drive like 12 miles. Nine miles. Nine, oh, it's nine miles? All right. Correct. I right. 15. Man. Nine miles. We ran nine miles. So the next day, so the next day, I had a game at the Salvation Army on Broad Street. And I had a game at the Baker League. I dropped 49 and 19 at the Salvation Army. <laughs> then left that game, went to the Baker League. About 49 and 19 Ooh. in the same day. So <laughs> this is the type of work that we was putting in. We weren't playing no games. And we was doing our thing. Yeah. That's right. And, and even though we the big league had a lot of things, but a lot of things back then was the schoolyards too. Ooh. And our schoolyard rivals was R and R Delhi. Ooh. Brent Moses, Tarrington Ward, Big Zeke. Reggie Lock, Wells, Reggie Wells oh, against man. Third World. Mm -hmm. These games, these better NBA so games loud. back then. So mm -hmm. loud. Better than Brent Moses, 6'4 point guard, throwing it off the backboard, hook dunking at the point hook guard dunk. position. <laughs> I mean, uh, down there we had all the hustlers, gangsters, mm -hmm. we had all people ready to fight and everything. So once you played in Philadelphia, in the city, you go to colleges, you got security at college. Mm. Playing the college is easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, he played with all these people. Right. College is easy. We got security. Yeah. Yeah. We no security down there. I mean, but for real, man, we played against the best of the best, man. That's and true. going into the bottom all-stars, man. So as young men, we playing against at a level that's unbelievable, man. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. We getting three, four, five, six hundred. This is about Sesame, 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 Hannah. They ain't have nothing on 48 from Brown. Mm -hmm. Rick was just talking about we went undefeated. We went and then we lost one game in the playoffs and we won the championship. And I think I was like 43, 44. You know what I mean, I played 10, um, five decades. 
Yeah, yeah, that, mm. that, 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 five decades I played Lewis in won, the streets. Lewis won in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, and 2010. Mm. We won the championship in North Philly. He was 43 years old, so he actually dominated the playgrounds of Philadelphia for 50 years. Ooh. And the day he would NBA would be over, he would come back home, wouldn't say a word, suit up and play in the playground. Every year, every, every year, year. and nobody mm-hmm. does that. Nobody does that. And then he would leave, then I would dominate. He <laughs> <laughs> would leave, and I go ahead and get 30 or 40 <laughs> on everybody. You know why, you know why they call me the magic man? Black magic? <laughs> yes, man, this is Paul. How? C9 got MVP. I played two games, and after about 50. And then I disappeared. Magic. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and when, when, when Lou left, I took it over and turned Mrs. Falls out. <laughs> Turn it up. Every no. time he left, it was left on me and I, I handled my business. In the early 70s, you know what I mean? We created Third World, which is Harvey Willis, myself, Joe Jolly, and Radar. Radar is dead now. Rest in peace, Radar. Radar. peace. But from the 70s all the way up to the 90s, I think we only lost like three games in the streets. And we used to go undefeated a lot of times in every league that we ever played in. We always would go undefeated, run through the playoffs, win the championship. I got so many MVPs, mm. trophies from the 70s all the way to the 90s. It's unbelievable. What it's trying to say is right. <laughs> They were gunners. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at all these guys who average. Listen, these guys average 0.8 assists. <laughs> Career. Maybe they came down and all they did was ball fake and let it go. Yeah. Well, this guy right here, he be on the court. He wouldn't come out the game because he wanted to score two points so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you try to stop him here standing in the corner to I'm not coming out. <laughs> yeah. But see what you need to understand, right? Is I watch these guys, right, put up these big numbers, and I would enter the game late in the third quarter, and they say China won't pass the ball. Well, you got 60, he got 50. Ain't nobody open. It's, it's, it's time for me to go to the crossover, spin move, Bojango, and to the rack. <laughs> You know, I got some kids. <laughs> <Let's try. laughs> we done seen enough of that. <laughs> man, but you know what, man? The basketball in Philadelphia like this, these gentlemen is talking about. We was a, we were just you you 48th Street was just like what the Rutgers is to New York. Standing room only crowd. Music blasting. Just the most exciting time that I've ever been associated with. And it made me want to move to that level of playing basketball. You know, it just, it drove my aspirations, you know what I mean? It inspired me, it influenced me. Because I wanted to get better at the game. And then I think we all, after that, became real students of the game and were able to go on to play collegiately. Some of us played in the pros, but uh, what an exciting time it was. Nice steal by Lewis Lloyd in an anticipation. He just blew by Magic Johnson and scores. What a play by Lewis Lloyd. He's got 14 in the quarter, 27 for the game. 